In this tutorial, what we're going to do is look at how to set up something called PyCharm, which is an IDE that we can use to edit all our code that we're going to do in this Pygame project. Before we start loading up Pygame itself, our PyCharm itself, we're going to need to just make sure, first of all, that we've got somewhere to stow all of our project work. So it just so happens I've got my, uh, my computer window open just here. I'm in my H drive. I've gone into my computer science folder into year nine. I'm just going to quickly right click, go new, and uh, make a new directory to store my work in. So I'm going to call this one 9.4, year nine, term four and it's pi game a bit like that so that way i've got somewhere to stow my work it's important you do that before you load PyCharm. so you might want to pause the video at this point and go and quickly do that and then you can play it and carry on once you've done that we'll load up PyCharm itself PyCharm will take a second or two to load up uh, and when it loads up, what will happen is you'll get this, uh, well actually on your computer, because you'll be loading it for the first time, you'll see a number of different things happen. The first thing that will happen is it will come up with a window that hasn't happened on mine at the moment, and it'll say, uh, do you want to import any settings? It'll give you some options. Don't worry about that, just click on OK. All right. Once it does that, what will then happen is it'll prompt you again. It'll ask you about uh, something called uh, key mappings, and it will give you three different drop-down options. Again, just leave all of that alone and click on OK. Once you've done that, you'll then get to this window just here. You might find, uh, next time you log on, it might ask you those things again, it might not, uh, but we'll see. But uh, in any event, there's nothing to worry about with those two other options, just click OK twice, and you know everything will work out fine. So we're now in a position where we can create a new programming project. So I'm gonna click on there, and what the computer's gonna ask me is, whereabouts I'd like to keep all my work, for this particular project. The interpreter part, that's fine, you can leave that alone. But the bit you do want to change is this location here. So I'm going to click on these three little dots, the one ellipsis as it's called, and I'm going to go and browse into my H drive, into my computer science folder, into my year nine folder, and I've got here, there it is, there's Pygame just there. So I've just single clicked on that, and now I can click on OK. And then with all that set up, I can create. So what that'll do is the computer will now be able to make uh, something called a project file, because if you imagine, you might be making a huge program with hundreds of different files that are inside it. So it's going to be really, really useful to have things like these projects to help to manage that. Next thing we're going to do then is actually bring in a file into our project. You can see here, here's my project, and at the moment it's empty, there's nothing in there. So I'm actually going to bring a file in here with some code in it, so I don't have to type um, all my own code up for myself. So the first uh, week, and actually all the subsequent weeks as well, have templates that you can use. So what you want to do is nip on over to borntocode.com, here it is, go into the year nine Pygame project, go into the week one lesson, you'll see here I'm in week one at the moment, and if you scroll down the page just a little bit on the resource, what you'll see is it says click here for template. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on there, go down to save link as, I'm using Firefox, if you use Internet Explorer it looks slightly different, but the idea remains the same. Uh, and then once you've done that, you can then navigate over to your computer science, to your year nine, to your Pi game, and uh, I might rename that actually and call it something like week one template. Week one template, there we go. And I'm gonna save that in place. Let's just minimize that out of the way for a moment. So what's gonna happen is over here in PyCharm, it's automatically scanning that folder, that project folder all the time. And you may have noticed little triangles appeared just here up in this corner. And if I pop that open, it's now detected that there's a new file in town, my week one template file. And if I double click on that, I can open that up, okay? You can see all this here, here it all is. Uh, and there's my file all ready to go. It's having a little grumble about this, too many blank lines, don't worry about that. Uh, and so uh, we can now do our final check, which is to make sure that everything at this point is all set and we're all ready to do some coding. You see, this template as it sits at the moment will run. It won't do much, but it will run. So that's a good way of knowing we've done all the right things so far. So I can come up here uh, and I can click on that run option and there's an option there, look, that says run and I can click on that. Uh, it says then, what would you like to run? See, a lot of people don't spot this. And again, this is all one-off stuff, so I'm just gonna double click on there. The computer will take a second, and it'll load up my first Pi game uh, app, uh, which at the moment is just a black screen. So if you've got a black screen, you did everything right. So we know that that works, I can cross that off. And in the future, what I'll be able to do is to add some more code, which you'll do, uh, you know, you'll, you'll do that as, as the lesson sort of wears on, but I can do some more code and I can run it again. Once you've run it once, little keyboard shortcut, 
Once you've run it once, your program, what you can always do afterwards, whenever you want to run again, is you can either click on here, this little play icon in the top corner, or there's a keyboard shortcut, which is quite nice, which is Shift and F10. Doing Shift and F10 will also run your programs. So that is how you get started with, uh, with PyCharm.